Elaine Chao furiously defended her husband Mitch McConnell in a shouting match with immigration protesters who confronted them as they left an event at Georgetown University. The Department of Transportation Secretary and the Senate Majority Leader were approached by students as they made their way to their car outside the Copley Formal Lounge on the university campus in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. Why are you separating families, huh? Why are you separating families? One of the group asked the couple as they made their way to their car, referencing migrant parents detained away from their children at the U.S.-Mexico border. Why don't you leave my husband alone? Why don't you leave my husband alone? Chow responded. Video courtesy Twitter user at ROBERTO 62543651 One of the protesters also played an audio recording, published by ProPublica, in which children taken from their parents can be heard crying. As the demonstrators continued to question why McConnell was separating families, Chow shouted, he is not raising her voice, Shia added, you leave him alone. You leave my husband alone. Share this article Share 50 shares Chow and McConnell are whisked away in a black SUV while security guards keep the protesters away from the couple. How does he sleep at night? One of the protesters is heard shouting as the couple's car drives off. A 32-second clip of the encounter was shared online by a student called Roberto on Twitter on Tuesday. Has since attracted more than 2 million views. Roberto, a senior at Georgetown University, said he was returning from his internship at United We Dream when a friend texted him to say that McConnell and Chow were on campus. My parents are Mexican immigrants and I was infuriated that a man who blocked the Dream Act and a Trump cabinet official were invited to my campus, he wrote on Twitter. It prompted him and his friends to quickly head to the event. He said. He added, we asked why they were separating families in Delane L. Chow started yelling at us to leave her husband alone. My question is why they won't leave out families, friends, and communities alone. As my friend said, how do you sleep at night? And to be honest, I cannot fathom how these movers of racism, discrimination and hate sleep at night. Cabinet officials like Elaine Chow might not like to hear it, but she and her husband bear responsibility and we won't stop telling that truth everywhere they go. It's time for Congress to deafen the deportation force. House Republicans are set to vote on Wednesday on a hard fought immigration compromise between conservative and moderate GOP flanks, but the bill has lost any real chance for passage despite a public outcry over the crisis at the border. The party's lawmakers are considering Plan B passing legislation by weeks and curbing the Trump administration's contentious separating of migrant families. The children have been separated from their parents after illegal crossings, sparking public outrage over the spectacle of crying kids being held in makeshift camps. On Tuesday, a judge in California ordered border authorities to reunite separated families within 30 days. If the children are younger than five, they must be reunified within 14 days. U.S. District Judge Dana Sabra in San Diego issued the order in a lawsuit by the American Civil Liberties Union. The lawsuit involves a seven year old girl who was separated from her Congolese mother and a 14 year old boy who was separated from his Brazilian mother. Sabra also issued a nationwide injunction on future family separations unless the parent is deemed unfit. More than 2,000 children have been separated from their parents in recent weeks and placed in government-contracted shelters. President Donald Trump issued an executive order reversing his own family separation policy last week and said parents and children will instead be detained together, but around 2,300 children remain removed from relatives. On Monday, Trump expressed frustration at U.S. immigration laws and reiterated that people should be turned away at the border. Democrats have accused him of wanting to circumvent the U.S. Constitution's guarantee of due process for those accused of crimes. We want a system where, when people come in illegally, they have to go out. And a nice simple system that works, Trump said. Trump also lashed out at a Democratic congresswoman who had urged Americans to confront members of his inner circle in public places. 
Maxine Waters had told the crowd in her home state of California on Sunday that a Virginia restaurant's refusal to serve White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders should be a model for resisting Trump. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd, Waters said. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. We've got to get the children connected to their parents. Trump fired back, calling Waters an extraordinarily low IQ person 